Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. Going back to Pizza Pass today on the oh so hard difficulty to show off the algorithmic solution to this logical puzzle. Fleens? You're not fleens! <laughs> I'm starving! So actually this works more or less the exact same way that the algorithmic solution on the first difficulty works. So start by picking a random topping. Something on that I don't like! I'd appreciate more toppings. Alright, so Willowin was the one who liked that, so we're gonna take solve uh, her pizza first. So we're gonna try that and a new topping. Is that all I get? So we know Arno did not like anything on that, and she liked both of those. Interesting. Now here's the thing. This is where the algorithm deviates slightly from the last one. We don't know for sure if every topping is going to be used. Furthermore, we also don't know how many toppings Arno versus Willowin is going to want. And at this point... If we try a pizza with three toppings like we did in the last difficulty, and Willowin doesn't like that topping, we don't know if Arno will, because he'll see the two toppings on it that he doesn't like, and just be like, yuck! So we're actually now going to just try a new topping, and try to find Arno's pizza, now that we know Willowin's wants at least two on it. MORE TOPPINGS! Something's wrong! Alright, so Arno does like peppers, that's good to know. Let's try olives. Trying a pizza with two unfamiliar toppings on something it is a recipe for disaster. Go. There's something there I won't eat. So, Alright, so Willowin likes olives. We know that. Because there was only one topping on it she didn't like, and we know she doesn't like peppers. Something on that I don't like! That topping, okay, not Okay, and she that. likes cherries. I'm so this starving. will be Arno's pizza, and then every other topping will be on Willowin's pizza. Thank you, thank you. All right, so he had pepper, he had peppers and whipped cream, which means every single other topping will be on Willowin's, and we only know that because she only rejected Arno's toppings. Now that's more like it. So that algorithm's a little trickier to get the hang of versus the first one. The first one was incredibly easy, so let's try that again. Hmm. So again, same thing. Start with a random topping. More topping! Then add one new topping to it. Wrong. And honestly, a good rule of thumb for Pizza Pass, never, except if you're not on the first difficulty, never put down a pizza with more than two toppings something on it. on that I don't like. There's something there she, I won't She eat. likes pepperoni because she only rejected one topping, and we already know she doesn't like mushrooms. So she likes pepperoni, he likes mushrooms. Let's try mushrooms and peppers. Something must go. That topping, not for me, thanks. So she likes peppers, because again, she only said one topping she didn't like, and that's mushrooms. Something on that I don't like! That topping, no. She also likes olives. I'm starving! The perfect pizza! Alright, so that's his pizza complete. We know that Willowin likes pepperoni, and peppers, and olives. And let's see if she also likes whipped cream. If she rejects this, we'll just remove the whipped cream. There's something there I hate! So again, not all toppings are used all the time. So we had a 50-50 shot essentially there. But we still have tons of chances left, so this works. Now that's more like it. Pizza party! So again, we don't make assumptions in the algorithmic solution. Oh, we literally just find set rules according to the rules given in the question mark help center. I'm 
and we carve a solution purely around that. More toppings! Something's wrong! <laughs> Something on that I don't like. There's something there I won't eat. Something must go. Bat topping. Not for me, thanks. <laughs> Something on that I don't like. That topping? No. The perfect pizza! I'm getting intense deja vu. Is this going to be the exact same solution as last time? Mm, yes, it was. Pizza. pizza. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pizza party! Alright, yeah, so I think you can get the general idea of how that algorithm works. Works very, very well, and I constantly had more chances than I was using, so even if it doesn't go exactly according to plan, there's still a lot of leeway for error. And that's a good algorithm for that level, and that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching, I'm Carl Fardy. Tune in next time, we'll be exploring Pizza Pass's algorithmic solution on the very hard difficulty. That'll be fun. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.